I love a good skyline view of London, who doesn't? And I love to shoot time lapses of it, ideally from a distance with a long telephoto lens. And it's even better when something special is happening on the horizon on the day. Good evening guys, today we are vlogging Ready Dark from Norwood Park where I'm together with Charles, Henry and Fabian that you can't see anyway because it's ridiculously dark and I'm trying to vlog without a light but we're here today to shoot Comet Neowise right above the skyline of London. And this is where we first noticed it, just above the London Eye, beautifully traversing through the sky. And it was just so weird, they could barely see it with a naked eye. But then on the photos, it obviously came out so much better. And at some point, we hope that the comet will actually cross the shard and the city. So if that's gonna happen, it's gonna be insane. And we were prepared to capture that insanity. Everyone was shooting on pretty much two bodies each and we had variety of brands because we as friends, photographers or time lapsers, none of us discriminate anyone else because they're shooting on a different brand. There was Nikons, Fuji, Sony's, Canons, you name it. So I just borrowed this beautiful light from Fabian just so that you can see me somewhat a bit. Things are working out really, really well. We are actually anticipating that the comet might touch the skyline, like the Shard and maybe even the 22 Bishops Gate, which was a very, very long shot when I was kind of like thinking about this location to come here this evening. And it seems to be turning out that we might be way luckier than I thought that we could be. Yeah, that was optimistic, but how wrong was I? We started seeing that the comet is flattening and it's not going any further down as it was approaching the city. By now, I knew it's gonna go about a shard above the shard. While two days later, actually Alan Wallace, who is one of UK's best astrophotographers, released a video how to plan to capture comet Neowise using Stellarium as well as Photopills to understand at what degree above horizon the comet's gonna go and which lens to use. Definitely recommend watching that video, link in the description. So at this moment I had to decide if to stay and watch it go across the skyline above it or do something else and I decided for the latter. I knew a spot near Herne Hill in Ruskin Park so decided to drive there and it turns out it was still gonna go above the shard from there. So I had to plan for another location and the closest idea that I had was to drive towards Rotherhive where I could capture it just above Canary Wharf. Just as I arrived, I saw the comet left to Newfoundland and the new landmark tower, so I thought this is gonna be something, so I set up my time lapses. First one that you're seeing right now is the 180 millimeter time lapse on Z6. And while this was running, I set up my second body with the 500 millimeter, hence there was no vlogging at this point. What surprised me the most is I was able to actually capture a photo on my iPhone with the 2X lens and see the comet. And here's a time lapse on my 500mm lens as the comet passed behind one Bank Street and Landmark Tower East. Heading towards the two Wardian Towers and finishing right above the tip of one Canada Square. Now that was a beautiful sight to behold. Hence, what else could I do than turn it into an Instagram post? And it actually did quite well. People really enjoyed that photo. And as the time lapse finished, I noticed noctilus and clouds forming on the horizon. And here's a 20mm photo with the comet as well as the NLCs. And while the 20mm time lapse was running, I captured a few short time lapses on the 180mm towards the horizon and the cityscape. And now, this is the time lapse I love from the evening. The comet moving across the Canary Wharf skyline and the NLCs beautifully spreading just above Limehouse. 
But now that I think about it, if I actually stayed at the first locations, these amazing NLCs would actually be happening behind the London city cluster skyline. That would have been absolutely epic. Oh well, you don't always make good decisions. Thanks a lot guys for watching this far, hopefully you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.